Hello boys and girls, my name is Mrs. Gilbert and I am the librarian at High Point School. We will start our regular library lessons next week. So during your library time, I will be coming into your classroom Zoom and we'll be doing lots of things together. We'll be doing um, STEM projects and research projects and learning about being safe on the internet and learning different technology tips and tricks and talking about books. So we have all that to look forward to starting next week. For today, I just wanted to start by introducing myself and giving you a quick tour of the library. If you're new to High Point, you might be interested in what our library looks like. So let's take a look. The High Point Library is a very colorful and fun space that you will love to spend time in. There are lots of comfortable areas in the library to sit on We've got all kinds of couches to curl up and read a good book on. We also have a green screen studio that we use to make movies. And a whole makerspace area with craft supplies and Legos and building blocks and robots that we use in the library. At High Point, you also get to check out your own book. So we have a self checkout station. And this is our fiction chapter book section. We've got tons and tons of chapter books on all different kinds of topics and genres that you will love. This is where we hang up names and pictures of kids who participate in our Blue Stem and Caudal reading programs. And this wall is where we record the names of kids who are doing the 40 book reading challenge. You get your name on the wall after you finish 10, 20, 30, or 40 books. Well, what did you think of the library? What was your favorite part? I can't wait till we are able to be back in school so that you can enjoy all these great things, our green screen studio, our makerspace area, and all of, all of our great books. So I'm sure you've heard that High Point School does something called the One School, One Book, which means every classroom, every teacher, every student reads the same book during the year. And this year, the book that we are all reading together is called El Defo. And it's about a girl who loses her hearing when she's four years old because of a, an illness that she had. It is a graphic novel, which means the whole book is one giant comic strip. In the story, the main character, Cece, discovers that as she gets older, sometimes it's hard to be different. It makes you feel uncomfortable or like you don't fit in. But in the end, Cece learns in the book that being different makes us unique and that's a special thing. So our theme for this school year is our differences are our superpower. So in honor of that, I wanted to read you a story and the story is called it's okay to be different. Just to kind of get us thinking about our own differences and how they make us special. So let's get started. It's okay to be different. It's okay to be missing a tooth or two or three. It's okay to need some help. It's okay to have a different nose. It's okay to be a different color. It's okay to have no hair. It's okay to have big ears. It's okay to have wheels. It's okay to be small, medium, large, extra large. It's okay to wear glasses. It's okay to talk about your feelings. Purr, roar. It's okay to eat macaroni and cheese in the bathtub. It's okay to say no to bad things. It's okay to come from a different place. It's okay to be embarrassed. It's okay to come in last. It's okay to dance by yourself. 
It's okay to have a pet worm. It's okay to be proud of yourself. It's okay to have different moms. It's okay to have different dads. It's okay to be adopted. It's okay to have an invisible friend. It's okay to do something nice for someone. It's okay to lose your mittens. It's okay to get mad. It's okay to do something nice for yourself. It's okay to help a squirrel collect nuts. It's okay to have different kinds of friends. It's okay to make a wish. It's okay to be different. You are special and important just because of being who you are. As I mentioned before, we will start our regular library times next week, and that's when we'll start getting everything set up. Our 40 book reading challenge, the Coddles and Blue Stems, and all those things that we do every year, we will still be doing, and we'll get that all going starting next week. Hey boys and girls, I have someone really special that I want you to meet. Boys and girls, if you, for those of you who don't know me, I am Mrs. Watt, I am the tech in the building, and as you can see, I help boys and girls who are having trouble with their iPads. So if you need any help with your iPads, you will talk to me. And the best way to reach me is to send me an email to hpthelp at orland135.org and I will get back to you as quickly as I can to resolve your problems. Have a great first week. See you soon.